Thank you. It doesn't look right. It's good. Hi, Jackie. Nice to see you. Hi, Rabbi. I can't get in on my main my main um, thing for some reason. So you're gonna have to be on my. Um, you look good, Carol. We we see you just fine. Yeah, no, I'm not on my laptop. I'm on my mini. Oh, uh, got it. Okay. Well, it's working. It's working. Yeah. Nice to see all of you. Hello. I hope you're all doing okay. Yeah. I know that your presence here means that you are safe. I, I do not know that it means that you are sane. <laughs> the, the world is insane. So. Working on it, working on it. We all are. We all are. We have holy work to do right now. Um, not easy work, though. Grateful, grateful for the opportunity to share in something that is both sweet and meaningful. Unpolluted by the chaos outside, so here we are. Um, I'm, I'm gradually admitting members of the WRJ to the business portion of today's gathering, so please just bear with me. Hello. Good afternoon, everyone. Hi, Judy. Really nice to see you. Hi, Linda. Hi. I see Anne is here and Fran is here. Karen, Nancy, Freddie. Hi. Hi. Pleasure to be with you. Uh, my pleasure. Um, we're going to just uh, wait for, I mean, it's not even noon yet. So uh, I am going to take my cues from, from Fran. Uh, who's in charge of the flow of today's meeting, but I'm going to be providing some both frontal and behind the scenes assistance. Um, so Fran, you'll just give me the high sign when you think it's appropriate to begin. And if you want to keep track of who is with us, you can use the participants window, okay. uh, which is uh, called up by just clicking the participants icon of the two little bobbleheads at the bottom of your Zoom screen. Anyone can do that so you can see who's here. But sometimes people like 914, 584, et cetera, don't, don't indicate their names. Um, oh, hi, I'm Sharon Weinberg. Hey, hi, Sharon. Sharon, I can hear your voice. I, rec I recognize the I'm going to I'm rename home. myself. I'm, I'm on a ferry, uh, so I'm not sure I'll be able to stay on much of the time. But here we go. So sorry, bear with me. Oh. I'm just going to close a bunch of my uh, my windows here so that we don't get too distracted uh, or I don't get too distracted by all the other stuff on my computer. Uh, hi, Ellen. Hello. Nice to see all of you. I'm also not sure what a quorum looks like for WRJ Fran, and I'm also not sure whom you feel you need here. I, I am going to mute everyone. Fran, you can unmute yourself whenever you are. Okay, so I've taken the, uh, the prerogative uh, to mute everyone. Uh, Fran, you may wish to unmute yourself as well. Yeah, please unmute Carol also. Great. Yep, I can do that right now. Just bear with me for a moment because a lot of people are still coming into the meeting. Carol, you're now unmuted. You might have done that yourself. Yes. yes. Great. So the way I see this happening is I will be background mostly with you, Rabbi. Great. Um, I sent you all the um, I sent you instructions and um, documents to share screen. Yeah. I can help you with that. And Carol will be um, chairing the meeting, her last as co-president. Um, and uh, she does it better than I do, so why not have the expert? <laughs> I'm still junior, I'm learning. Well, how many people do we consider a quorum? Well, you have Chai right now. We have 18 people on the Zoom. Okay. Just so you know. Thank it you. might be more important to know their identities so that you feel that representation from the WRJ leadership is here. It looks as if most of them are to my eye. But since it's only 12.01, I would certainly 
here comes Lori Calamari. Um, certainly invite you to take whatever time you think is appropriate. Uh, and, you know, I'm ready to go whenever you are, so. Okay, I don't see Sarah yet. Sarah Kagan, that's right. She hasn't logged on to my, to my knowledge. So. What I, I, I will say, just uh, from a kind of uh, administrative standpoint, speaking to you not as a rabbi, but just as the meeting uh, co-administrator, that there are going to be a couple of times during the course of the business portion of today's gathering when you will be invited to vote. Um, it will be a simple yes, no, abstain, and you will have a digital interface pop up right on your screen so that you can weigh in. Um, so there will be uh, a few moments during the business portion of our gathering for you to vote, for instance, on approval of minutes, approval of the slate of officers, and so forth. And your three choices will be yes, no, abstain. You just need to click. The poll will be anonymous, so you need not feel concerned that somebody is judging you for your vote. Um, we will not know who voted what, but we will have a sense of which votes carry. So, Carol, there's now 21 people on. Is that enough to start, Carol? Um, 21. Well. Uh, Sarah like Kagan joined, by the way. So Sarah's with us. Sarah's on. Okay. Um, is it all, well, are all of the members of the executive committee on so that we can have our reports? Yes. The officers? Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. I don't want to wait too long because that would cut into Rabbi Blake's time. Don't right. worry about me. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. I'll let, so let's, as, soon as, as soon as you're ready to start, Carol, um, Rabbi, would you kindly share the screen with the um, WRJ annual meeting agenda, which is um, coded, I think, as document one. Yep, just give me like one minute. I'm going to need one minute to clear a couple more windows because I was managing the Zoom room. So I need about one minute to do that. And then we'll be ready to go. For some reason, my, my windows didn't arrange themselves the way I wanted them to. But should not be a problem. Here we go. The annual meeting agenda. Yes, indeedy. I am now opening the document and <laughs> I am now sharing the screen. Here we go. Okay. And thank you, Karen Frommer, for your beautiful artwork and designing this exquisite this. agenda. <laughs> Hmm. We are indeed an amazing group. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Carol, take it away. I'm going to start. Welcome to the 2020 WRJ annual meeting and study session with Rabbi Jonathan Blake. I'm Carol Prince Levy, co president with Fran Sheffler Siegel um, of WRJ. Thank you for attending our closing meeting. Unfortunately, we're unable to meet in person um, for our annual luncheon and installation and study session with Rabbi Blake um, as in past years. However, Zoom, Rabbi Blake and friend Sheffler Siegel, also known as the WRJ Techie, uh, <laughs> have made our, um, you're on the screen, you know that friend? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, have made this 2020 annual meeting possible. Many thanks, Rabbi Blake and Fran. After a short business meeting, including an election and installation of officers for 2021, we'll go right to the study session. Unfortunately, luncheon will have to be in each of our respective homes um, this year. Okay. But before we go to the business portion, a prayer. I came across a quote from an unnamed source that resonated with me because it summarizes the work of WRJ. 
quote. Being humble means recognizing that we are not on earth to see how important we can become, but to see how much difference we can make in the lives of others, end quote. We thank you, O oh Lord, for the ability to make that difference in the lives of others. Okay. Um, now to our business meeting. Uh, um, uh, we have the approval of the minutes of the 2019 annual meeting. Okay. And Rabbi, would you um, post yes. documents too? Yes, I would. Nope, hang on. Mm, here we go. Okay, and if I will move this so that you can see it, don't worry. Okay. There we go. And okay. I will even do my level best to enlarge the typeface. <laughs> Great. Yep. That's beautiful. Okay, please take a minute to read through them if you haven't already. They were sent with the newsletter. Um, and then Rabbi Blake will put up the vote for the um, approval of the minutes. I will just uh, spend about one minute slowly scrolling through while continuing to admit participants to the meeting. I see, by the way, I see there's a note that the women's Seder was wonderful this year. That was 2019, Rabbi. Uh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Great. It's last annual meeting. Excellent. I wish this year's was a, was a success. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, all right. Uh, please... <clears throat> yeah, we've launched the poll for question number one. Please vote only on question number one at this time. Just a question for those of us on call, we don't see the vote. Uh, Correct, you do not. So I vote yes. Okay. Thank you. You can also use, yeah, you, there's no way for people who aren't able to use the visual interface to, to vote, unfortunately, except the way you just did. Right, but it won't let you submit until you answer the second question. Oh, really? No, yeah. That's not intentional. Shall we wait until, I mean, is it possible to wait until the end of business and then vote on both? Yes, that's what okay. we meant. Yeah. Okay, so I will resurface the poll at the end. My apologies. I'm, I'm kind of new to the polling feature of Zoom. All right. So we each have to cancel our own? No, I, I, it will still stay recorded. No, I mean cancel the... Um... The pop-up. Yeah, cancel yeah. the pop-up window. Okay. Thank you. I'll resurface it upon the time when we uh, approve the officers. Okay. So now could you please go back to the agenda? The agenda. Absolutely. There we are. Okay. All right. All right. Next, uh, we have the treasurer's report, Deb Russell. Is yes. Deb here? Just remind okay. her to unmute. I can look at the participants. Okay. Hi, Deb. I'm unmuted and I already submitted my vote, so I don't get to vote again. But thank <laughs> you very much. I will make this as we are. possible. Um, I am estimating end of year numbers because we still have a few obligations left. Um, but we should end up the year with something around a positive, call it five to seven thousand dollars cash flow for the year. That compares to our budgeted thirteen thousand three hundred negative outflow. Wow, good. Um, a, a few things we had a really wonderful fundraising effort, and I know Karen's going to talk to that, so I won't elaborate. But we are all very appreciative for that effort, and that helped a lot. Um, we have met all of our Sadaka obligations, and we uh, we transferred 
$10,000 per our budget and um, ongoing contribution to the JLL, of which $180 was um, targeted as, I shouldn't say targeted, but earmarked as in honor of Barbara Josselson for her efforts. Um, we transferred $1,000 to the Cooking for Hope program and combine that with the Temple's um, ongoing contribution there. And we also um, contribute $1,000 to feeding Westchester. Mm -hmm. We expect to also um, uh, make continue our obligation to pay the B'nai Mitzvah Kiddush Cups and the confirmation gifts. And I hate using obligation as a word, but something that we traditionally do and we budget to do um, is will be done for that. And I think the, uh, the only thing, the real reason for having that positive cash flow versus the budgeted outflow was unfortunately we were not able to engage in a lot of our programming, um, which we had budgeted for. So that is really where that comes from. Um, is, Fred, I'm just going to ask you, is that, is that okay? Does that, um, otherwise I'll, I'll just pass this on. Carol? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Deb. That was great. Thank you. Okay. We look okay. forward to bigger and better next year. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. Next, we have a membership report. Um, thank you, Deb. Membership report, Sarah Kagan. Hello, everyone. I'm happy to report that uh, as the Vice President for Membership, we had an active and engaged membership. We had nearly 180 members who were dues paying, both people who are members of Westchester Reform Temple and people in the greater community who chose to join the WRJ Sisterhood. And we welcome all. So thank you very much. That's the extent of my report for today. Hey, thank you, Sarah. Next is fundraising report, Karen Fromer. Hi, everyone, and I hope everyone is fine and safe and well, and all those you hold dear also. Um, fundraising, we had a very successful holiday boutique last year, and um, the uh, Honey Drive was also very successful, as Deb had indicated, our profits. Um, and I was very pleased to see that a lot of the membership of WRT came out and supported the honey. Uh, and we did it um, through a, a wonderful aviary in uh, Wappingers, above Wappingers Falls. And I hope to do it again. Um, Rosh Hashanah is still upon us. Uh, the Seder um, was canceled <laughs> for uh, for obvious reasons and so uh we did get our deposit back from the um caterer and um we are looking forward to a year that is challenging um all of you know i thought it best and i think everyone agreed that we are canceling uh the holiday boutique in november uh, which is our major fundraiser. I think we funded about what our profit was somewhere, Deb, around twenty-two or twenty-one, twenty-two thousand dollars, something like that. Yes. And our honey was about twenty-six, twenty-eight, whatever, a hundred dollars in profit. Um, and I expect to try and go ahead with the honey. And I am canceling, and we are canceling, and all our vendors have been notified. Um, some have even notified me in advance that they are canceling all of their fall showings um, and they truly understand. And I wrote a really very nice letter explaining what we do in the spring is possible, but it's going to be an austerity year. And I wish I could do more, frankly, but it is something that's a challenge. So we'll all get together and work with the challenge. And that's the extent of my report, Sarah, too. Oh, thank you, Karen, for everything. You, you did a wonderful job. You and Jane Klein. Jane Klein, yes, co-chair of the, of the Holiday Boutique. Did a marvelous job with the... And may um, I just add one more thing, and then I'll be silent uh, on behalf. Um, 
uh, Florence Miller was also so helpful and um, it, it was very sad. It was a very sad occasion for me to learn that Gia died. Yes, for all of us. And she was always there and always helpful. Thank you. Anyway, all right. I um, myself. Thank you, Karen. Programming report, Laurie Bernstein. Is Laurie here? I know she's here. I had to unmute. I had to unmute. Okay. We had some wonderful programming this year. Um, our first opening dinner was in September, and Lisa Salco spoke on 13 driver's licenses, which was a really compelling story of some high school students and their history teacher in a small Bavarian town who traced these 13 driver's licenses that were found, you know, uh, neglected in Village Hall. And um, probably confiscated just prior to Kristallnacht. And one of those driver's licenses was her grandfather and how they, these high school students connected to the descendants um, of the driver's licenses. And it was a very compelling, poignant story. And um, Lisa is a local Westchester resident and she really, this was her second time giving the speech and I think everyone really enjoyed that. Uh, in October, we had a trip to Manitoba, which was the Russell Wright, is the Russell Wright Design Center, and we had lunch following that. We had a tea lunch. In January, we had a winter luncheon, um, which consisted of a new um, event for, type of event. Fred Price, a Westchester Reform member, uh, discussed his book, My Mother's Son, with Barbara Jostelson, one of our members. And he graciously provided the members with copies of his book in advance so that we could all read up on the story. And Barbara did a great interview of him. She's really a, a local gem. And um, we had a couple of Zoom conferences when COVID started with Barbara on journaling. And then we also did a book club with her um, on her book, The Lilac House, which was a nice little Zoom event that we all, that whoever participated, I think enjoyed. Unfortunately for the coming year, uh, there is gonna be a cessation of uh, programming, in live programming due to COVID. Um, Fran started uh, Quarantini, which is a bi-weekly event. Um, I think she hosted at five o'clock and 10 to 20 members get together and I think they just yap and have a little fun. Um, we are continuing with Book Club, Rosh Kodesh, and Women of the Bible. And if anyone has any suggestions on some author, conference, film that we could all participate in and do on Zoom um, or from some social distance, um, please email me. We're happy to work on whatever we can for programming to keep everyone connected for the upcoming year. Thank you. Thank you, Lori. I, I do want to uh, mention at this point um, that um, we lost um, a stalwart in the book club, and that was Jane Nussbaum. She ran the book club um, for many years and was, was a continuing contributor to WRJ. So that makes two of our involved members um, gone. So um, we thank. All right. Uh, lastly, community, Sharon Weinberg. Sharon is on a, on a boat, <laughs> on her way oh, to okay. Block Island. So I'm not sure she can hear us anymore. She said she, she was on the phone. I um, emailed with her and um, she may not be able to say, so Carol. Uh, uh, can, you, can you hear me? Oh, there you are. Okay, go. Okay. Yeah, sure, okay. So uh, unfortunately, with COVID-19, our efforts uh, at community building were stymied this past year. But going forward, uh, we plan to reach out to the uh, WRT and extended WRJ community with a focus on issues relevant to women of all ages, while making a particular effort to engage younger members of WRT. So we will be having focus groups with young um, women and, um, and actually inviting all of you uh, to share your thoughts about what would engage and, and be inclusive to engage um, our whole community in being, being uh, 
bringing strength to women. And that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sharon. All right, before I turn the meeting over to Fran to complete the agenda, I have a few words. This is my, my last appearance as either president or co-president of WRJ. It's been a very rewarding four years, but a most unusual and unprecedented past three months, as you can imagine. Um, the past three months of social distancing and stay-at-home isolation have been the antithesis of the personal and community closeness that WRJ um, engenders. To maintain the closeness of the WRJ community has indeed been challenging and an and, and exercise in creativity. Um, as Lori said, we've been holding bi-weekly quarantine get-togethers and programs thanks to Barbara Joselson. Um, we try to keep in touch with each other through a friend-to-friend -friend initiative. It's important that we maintain our relationships while navigating between keeping safe and yet connected in stressful times like this. The executive committees during my presidencies have been ex exceptional. This one, this last one especially. It's been a most challenging effort to address the COVID situation in a meaningful way for our members. Everyone on the executive committee has contributed thoughts and suggestions. We've been keeping Gmail very busy, but thank you to my executive committee and to all the WRJ members who contributed to the effort. But it wouldn't have been possible without the technical savvy of uh, co-president Fran Sackler Siegel. Thank you all for being part of WRJ. Um, you're an amazing group of women, and I may be retiring as president of, co-president of WRJ, but I'm not retiring from WRJ. I'll still be here, a presence, and available to you. Thank you all. And now, Fran, you can continue with the rest of the meeting. Okay. Agenda. Thank you, Carol. One thing I forgot to mention to you was that Carol's comments also meant that I get to comment on you. Ah. Play on words. So, Carol, this is the part of the agenda you don't know about. Ah. Carol, your ability to keep so many people involved and enthusiastic in our sisterhood, despite the pandemic and quarantine, is a remarkable gift, one that not many people have. You kept us uplifted and connected. Your gentle, encouraging style is what sets you apart as a leader, a leader who leads by example, by word and deed, with elegance and quiet resolve. I'm much noisier than you. This was really an experience for me. <laughs> <laughs> WRJ thanks you from the deepest parts of our heart. And I thank you for mentoring me this past year. I look forward, as we all do, to your continued commitment to our sisterhood as you move to the title of immediate past president. And as I have learned to say from Rabbi Blake, you've already been voluntold to continue <laughs> to be my mentor. And now I'd like to tell you a little bit about some things we have in mind for you from, uh, as gifts. First, I think you already received flowers at your door. I did. And that's a thank you from your adoring executive board members and past presidents. Second, there's another gift that we arranged, but because of the way life is, it hasn't come yet. It's coming from Israel, actually. A jeweler in Israel is creating a Shema necklace for you. I had oh, hoped my. I would have it by now to give you, but I don't. So I'm going to drive over to your house this afternoon with a photograph of it. <laughs> 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 I don't want to give it to you in advance because I don't want to I didn't want you to see it yet, but so th those are in store. And we have one more very precious gift for you. 
And that is, where is Judy Gross? Judy Gross has something special to say to you. Um, and um, Rabbi Blake, if you would call up, you got it already, thank you. So Judy Gross, where are you? All right, I'm right here. Uh, am I on? You're on. All right. Okay, so I would like to read this verse. Words that represent the admiration and appreciation with, for you, Carol. I've um, had some help from my friend, Will Shakespeare, for this, so I'm going to read it to you. To be or not to be, the Honorable Carol M. Prinzel Levy, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to rest on the laurels of a legal career, to suffer the slings and arrows of passive inaction, to relax and enjoy a life of leisure, or to take action toward a sea of opportunity and join the women of Reform Judaism. And by supporting these women, enliven them. To be involved, to address issues with judgment, and by that judgment, to contribute in multiple ways to this esteemed sisterhood. To lead, to organize, to become the vice president of Ways and Means, and by that position to co-chair the Holiday Boutique to work diligently, perchance to dream of the vendors, the <laughs> tables, the cashiers, the sales, the sales, I, there's the rub. <laughs> For those sales are what profits may come. So the WRJ continues to run. When we think of this wonderful leader, we must give pause. There's the respect from all for her caring, her kindness, her equanimity in times of challenge that makes fulfillment of her terms as co-president, solo president, and current co-president, a consummation of service devoutly to be celebrated. And in this regard, our attentions turn to you, Carol B. Levy, and call the name of action. Congratulations. The verdict, a job well done. Thank you so much. That is wonderful. Thank you. Wonderful. So I printed out, as, as oh, William Shakespeare would appreciate, I printed it out on parchment paper. We <laughs> <laughs> that this afternoon. <laughs> oh, thank you. See, you are indeed a wonderful, wonderful, amazing group of women. Thank you so much. It's, it's just, I wouldn't say a pleasure. <laughs> But it, it has been a pleasure to be your president, co-president, either one, and to be an immediate past president. And the flowers are gorgeous, by the way. Thank you. I'll take a picture of them when I come over, and then I'll send it to everyone. OK. OK. Thank you, Judy. That was Thank you. fantastic in its writing and in its reading. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wonderful. Thank you. OK, Sarah, we now turn the. Uh, end of the meeting over to you um, so that we can have our election. Well, this is a formality and so I will be formal. Pursuant <laughs> to the WRJ bylaws, the nominating committee has met and wholeheartedly and unanimously proposes the following slate, which you can see on your screens. Thank you, Rabbi Blake. For the open positions on the executive board. And then we also have listed all of the WRJ executive board members continuing for 20 to 2021. The exec, the, this year's nominating, I'm gonna read the names. We have for vice president of fundraising, Karen Fromer, vice president for programming, Lori Bernstein. They will both be continuing. And we have on this call, and if you scroll through the faces, you will be able to see for corresponding secretary, Lori Calamari. And Lori, thank you so much for, for your uh, willingness to serve and for joining this call. We have on the WRJ Executive Board continuing, President Fran, Fran Scheffler Siegel. I will be continuing as Vice President for Membership. Vice President for Interfaith, Sharon Weinberg. The Treasurer, Deb Russell, will be continuing. The Recording Secretary, 
and her assignment happily will be continuing. The financial secretary, Bonnie Weiss, will be continuing. This is respectfully submitted by me as the WRJ nominating committee chair and on behalf of the wonderful committee who served with me, Lori Calamari, Kristen Friedman, Deb Russell, and the wonderful Nancy Schnur. I'm gonna stop talking. Yeah, yeah. Rabbi Blake has the ballots. He can submit them. I hope people will vote to endorse this slate. Respect yep, I'll leave it, I'll leave it open uh, for just another minute or so. At this time, you should have the poll on screen. Thank you for your patience with my Zoom neophyte ineptitude. Uh, and we uh, a marvel, Rabbi Blake. Your skills never cease to amaze us. Oh, I'm, I'm happy to take that compliment, but please. Um, sure. We're going to just wait another minute and then I will present the uh, tally of the votes. I don't have it. Oh. Yeah, the vote isn't here right now for some reason. Oh, that's interesting. All right. Because we do have. We have to go down when we went back to the meeting. So it's possible. Let me just see what I can do to bring this up on screen. I mean, on mine, it's... You can click on the bottom where it says polling. And yeah, if you, if you have a tab at the bottom, that's exactly right. Thank you. You should be able to hit the polling tab and the poll will appear on your screens. Please try that. Did that work? Yes. Now Great. I'm ask so there are two. Question. There are two poll questions that are being uh, provided to WRJ membership. Do you approve the minutes of the 2019 WRJ annual meeting? You can click yes, no, or abstain accordingly. And the second question: Do you approve the slate of executive officers as proposed by the 2020 nominating committee? Yes, no, or abstain. We'll take another minute. We've now collected 62 percent of the votes of all who are participating in the meeting. Okay. So. To tell you the truth, I downloaded the Jeopardy music to play for everyone at this time. <laughs> I forgot. I think that for such occasions was the Latin expression pro forma coined, but here we go. <laughs> okay, at this time, uh, with 67% of votes recorded, um, we have 94% voting yes for approval of the minutes and 6% abstaining, no, no votes. And for approving the executive officers, we have 92% voting yes, no votes for no, and 8% abstain. If you do not have the ballot, the best I can advise is that you click the polling icon at the bottom of your Zoom window. I don't have that. If you have it. Have it. Ah, but, yeah. but I, I vote I for everything. When okay. I originally had it and we couldn't do it then, it, you it, I it. did both, and so I think it voted, yeah. I apologize. Okay. You can, of course, signal your votes on <laughs> as well, yes. Okay, here, now I'll mute. Thank you. Me? <laughs> okay. I, uh, Carol votes yes, I don't have the poll. Oh. Yes, we have... And, 30, uh, 36 yes Darren votes both, each yes. for both, no votes no, and three votes each for abstain. <laughs> I know that that's enough to carry it officially, so unless there is any objection, I will end the poll. Okay, please okay. do. Thank you. Well, we're still muddling our way through this technology. I am now sharing the results on screen. Oh, wow. That you should be able to see. Yes. And the next time you really want this done right, ask Rabbi Levy. Okay, I will ask. It because I <laughs> okay, thank you. So you can actually take a snapshot of that or record it. This whole uh, meeting is being recorded as well. So we have a record. Okay, done. Thank you. I realize now that if I want to have separate questions, you actually have to establish separate polls for every question. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it calls up all the questions at the same time. So that's a learning for me. And Zoom, like most things in life, is incremental learning as we go. Mm -hmm. um, at this time, it gives me great pleasure, and it is a kavod, an honor, uh, to install the officers of the WRJ for the term uh, beginning for the uh, cycle that begins in the spring of 2020. Once again, I'm just going to share on the screen the, uh, the slate of the not, no longer nominees, these are the approved officers of the WRJ. Um, 
newly installed uh, vice president for fundraising, well, not newly installed, but installed today, vice president for fundraising, Karen Fromer, entering her second two-year term, vice president for programming, Lori Bernstein, her second year, two-year term, corresponding secretary, Lori, Lori Calamari, her first two-year term, and those who will be continuing, president, Fran Scheffler Siegel, Vice President for Membership, Sarah Kagan, Vice President for Interfaith, Sharon Weinberg, Treasurer, Deborah Russell, Recording Secretary, Ann Rose Simon, and Financial Secretary, Bonnie Weiss. Um, this slate of officers now duly approved. I have the privilege of uh, consecrating through a little bit of a prayer. But before I do, I want to add my special personal acknowledgement to Carol, Prince Levy. Um, who wears the title, the Honorable, not only by dint of her distinguished uh, judgeship and legal profession, but also and especially by the content of her character. Carol, truly you embody what we mean when we say in Hebrew, kavod, or filled with honor. Kavod is a word that actually is related to a part of the body. The liver in Hebrew is known as the keved, because it is the heaviest organ in the body, absent the skin. If you take all of your skin, it's actually heavier than your liver. But the heaviest internal organ is the liver. And therefore, the word for honor in Jewish tradition is literally grammatically related to the word for weight, W-E-I-G-H-T, that is to say, something of substance. Carol, you are a woman of substance, of character, of gravitas, who somehow does not let those qualities cancel out your capacity for joy, for lightness, for humor, and for love. Together, these make up your kavod. And it is for me such a privilege and an honor to have counted you among sacred partners in your leadership of Westchester Reform Temple through your roles as co-president, then president, then co-president of the Women of Reform Judaism of Westchester Reform Temple. Thank you for your sound judgment, for your enthusiasm, for your neshama, for your Yiddishkeit, for your deep connection to the Jewish tradition, not as a thing in the abstract, but rather something to be lived and studied and cherished. I must add that this week when I saw the President of the United States blandishing a Bible in the air, I thought of what that Bible is really there to do. It is there to be studied, opened, poured over and lived. It is not to be waved around as a prop or for political gain. Carol, you embody a relationship with Torah and with the Hebrew Bible that is truly a model for our community, for our congregation, for our people, and for all people of faith. I admire your commitment to Torah. I love studying Torah with you, and I want you to know that I have learned Torah from you. So for you, together with all of our officers, both incoming to their terms of service and continuing in their terms of service, I want to acknowledge you with a special prayer. And it was easy for me to select this prayer because it's staring us in the face right there in the sixth chapter of the book of Numbers as part of this week's Torah reading, not so. It is the most well-known prayer in all of Jewish tradition. And in fact, the oldest, one of the oldest artifacts from the ancient temple in Jerusalem, and I mean the first temple, the temple that stood before the Babylonian exile, is a small parchment scroll encased in silver, about 10 centimeters long when unrolled, that contains the holy words of Birkat Kohanim, the priestly benediction. I wanna share those words with all of you now. And if you feel so moved, you can, each of our officers and Carol, our outgoing co-president, draw a little bit closer to your screen so that I can do what the Kohanim used to do and what Leonard Nimoy did when he saw his rabbi do it and wanted a friendly hand signal to accompany the Vulcan maxim, live long and prosper. He did this. Now, when a priest does this with his hands, he forms the sign of the Shin, the letter Shin from the Hebrew Aleph Bet, which stands for Shaddai, one of the many names for God. And the mystics of Jewish tradition teach that when the priest would place his hands like this, they became a conduit for divine energy that could be transferred 
through the one conveying the blessing. It doesn't have to be a priest, by the way. Parents give this blessing to their children. Rabbis can give this blessing to their followers, to their congregations. And I have the privilege now of offering this blessing to each of you, our WRJ leaders, both immediate past, present, and forthcoming. As it is written in this week's Torah portion, may God bless you and keep you. May God's providence and love always be a surrounding shield to you. May the light of God flow from God into your hearts and souls and from you out into a world that desperately needs more light. May God's countenance always smile on you. May God grant each of you health, length of days, strength to continue your leadership in an extraordinarily challenging time for leaders. Most of all, we pray that through God's love and protection, each of you will experience the blessing of shalom, of peace, contentment, wholeness, and fullness of purpose. And let us all say, Amen. 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 Now, my understanding is that concludes the business portion of our meeting for today. Is that right? Yes, all right. So let's each take a deep breath and a mazel tov to all of our officers and to Carol as well. Mazel tov. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so, so much. Um, I'm going to admit a couple more people to the Zoom, and we're going to shift gears. I'm going to take the liberty of assuming that I'm a man who needs no introduction. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Um, Correct. Okay, wonderful. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mute even uh, our president and past president with, with apologies, but I, I, I do so with a recognition that I think that for me, the hardest part about going back at such time, I hope in the near future when I can go back to leading the community as it were in person, I think the hardest part will be giving up the power to mute people on demand. Um, it, it really is extraordinary. Um, and normally I like to hear the Jewish people talk, but there really are times when as a rabbi, particularly when conducting a bar about mitzvah service and the seventh graders are filling every single aisle on the right hand side of the sanctuary, the ability to mute will be sorely missed. Um, nevertheless, I cherish your voices and your presence here today. Even if uh, you are muted for right now, I have uh, allowed you the ability to unmute yourself at will. Just a little bit on.